singing Tint. I actually started in fashion and then I supported painting for a while, a long time in fashion uh, as a stylist, I painted at night, I'd say for about 17 years. I worked during the day, came from a different place probably than most artists, and um, painted at night. It was rough, but um, it worked, it worked well. And at first I was kind of a little embarrassed about that other world, and uh, to be honest, and um, of course you use whoever you are, and, and there were so many um, textures and veils, you know, it's like the early painters were like practically costume designers. They knew velvet and they knew how to do fabric and zippers and, you know, the, um, the textures that they had were, were just extraordinary. Um, so that was my start. It was a struggle. I was around a lot of the guys in the early days and uh, the abstract expressionist guys and they were kind of macho and um, in a group and um, you know it was um, it was hard. I, I remember um, Valentin Tetransky who was a, um, a critic at the time he said um, he was um, going to studios for 10 years and no one had mentioned me and actually he said Poons, Larry Poons did and he approached me in a gallery and he said if Poons says to go I go and he came to my studio and um, liked the work a great deal and he said if you have a show I can write on you and so lo and behold he was my first and um, I'm forever grateful and then I started lecturing because um, I was in an arts magazine and I got called from um, Cincinnati uh, the master's art program and I said, well, I'm not very academic. And they said, no, that's not what we want. We want you and, uh, and your work and your influences. So, um, and that was another start. But I continued really working um, for a long time and, and painting nights and weekends until, until painting took off. And it's always never off, <laughs> it's up and down. What, what drew you? Well, I could be honest here because it's not my resume. I would say therapy. Um, I married a painter and those were the days that um, women kind of supported the men and um, did it that way and I wasn't painting as long as I was married and um, we went into counseling and I stayed in therapy and um, that was one of my biggest influences. I was sort of a rebel as a kid and I had in my mind I wanted to move to New York and hang out at the Cedar Bar to learn art from the artists. That was my goal. And I went to night school and I was in the Cedar Bar one night and everybody said, well there's a new place that's opening up tonight, let's go. And that was Max's Kansas City. And I went and stayed every night for 10 years and that's where I met, um, I met Larry Poons, Larry Zox, Dan Christensen, Bryce Marden, um, Frosty Myers, I, I, a whole list. Um, and, and that was a start, you know. My best credit was uh, Clem Greenberg in my studio. Um, it was nothing like what people said. I painted very large and I thought, oh my God, I heard he cuts up paintings and uh, there I go, I can do some over the couch paintings. And he kept on saying, they were like 300 inches long. And um, he was saying, just stretch it a third of an inch on the end, you know. Uh, he really went for the big ones. Um, I, I actually do paint large um, in a bedroom. So um, that was a big start for me, a major start. How did you get to your style you're known for today? I painted in a bedroom, as I said, and I wrapped it around the bedroom and um, and just went to it. And actually, uh, a friend who worked for Poons as an assistant uh, realized as my space was small that um, it would be best painting on the walls. So um, therefore, the drips became my style. Um, 
and um, you know I was able to stretch out my arm and and move around like like a dancer you know and I stayed limber because um, it, it was like a dance and painting very large paintings you know you needed to be quite limber for that yeah then I discovered the pores um, I um, I liked uh, being liquid I I painted thick and thin you know that's that's sort of one of my things you know I like texture um, some of the small paintings that I have here in the studio are all textural and and almost like sculpture um, an art dealer that I knew well said um, I painted on paper and he said well why don't you try painting small on canvas you know since you work on a given size the large ones are all free form and I can crop afterwards and so they became sculptures almost. Um, but the pores became really important, the grounds, as, as this painting here has. You know, I like the gradations of the grounds. And I don't know how I got into the pouring, but that, that became um, a big thing for me. And I paint in the morning, and uh, the light here, although the studio was small, I feel it's expansive because the light is incredible. Uh, south light, you know, I know north is the um, proper light for artists, but I could take the south light. I have a terrace that's very inspirational. Um, I'm very disciplined. I exercise a lot in the morning, and then I paint. So uh, I live a very disciplined life. I go to bed early. I don't hang out a lot. I don't drink. I read every night. I do yoga. I, I mean, discipline is my thing except I let loose when it comes to painting so it's like a Zen thing you know where I I can you know um, do the discipline and then let loose Oh my God.